Oh, so Sam and I are lining up, ready for an empty ferry out of Essendon. And I thought I'd talk you through the functionality of old Jane, the autopilot here. So Jane is bugged for our visual departure to 3000 and our runway heading. And uh, once we're set climb power, we'll engage our heading mode and indicated airspeed mode, which is also bugged at 125 there, which would be a nice cruise climb for the Chieftain. And uh, then we can turn on to turn on to whatever assigned heading they give us, and away we go. What you'll also see is at the moment, because we've got no airspeed, we don't have fuel at destination or endurance at destination data, but I'll show you again in the climb. Charlie, turn left, heading 090 visual, clear to take off. Turn left, heading 090 visual, clear to take off, Mike Kilotai. I'll reconvene on that topic after takeoff. before the towel man brutally gave us clearance to take off. As you can see there that at the moment we're in climb, we've got zero, uh, zero endurance left at destination and also zero fuel remaining at destination. That's because we're in climb now at oh, about 360 litres an hour fuel burn and we've got 400 miles to go. So I'll get the camera out again as we level off and I'll show you how the fuel at destination will actually increase from zero back to our uh, intended reserve. I'm 4,000, Mike, you're a We'll have a look at that once we level up in cruise. 12375, g'day. 12375, Mike, you're a Charlie, g'day. Double Center, g'day, Mike, Kilo, Charlie's not climbing past 6,600 for 9,000. Mike Kilo Charlie, Senate G'day, you are cleared to re enter controlled airspace. I'll climb to 9,000, it's no report arrived by traffic. Cleared to re enter, I'll climb to 9,000, Mike Kilo Charlie. Mike Kilo Charlie, the area, QNH 1011. 1011, Mike Kilo Charlie. 1011. 1011. That one, two, and three. Excellent. So now it's a bit smoother. Let's show that, that there we've got endurance of destination currently zero. Fuel at destination, zero litres, but that's because we're guzzling fuel at about 350-odd litres an hour, and we've still got 400 miles to go. So once we get to the top of climb, I'll show you that as we level off, pull the powers back, clean the mixture, you'll find that our know, fuel at destination will be increased to what it actually should be once we get there. So we've got Jane in indicated airspeed hold mode with the altitude. So you'll find with 200 feet to go, Jane will tell us that we've got 200 feet to go and go into capture mode there. And at the moment, level three, seven, zero. fuel at destination still showing zero, but as we level off, the air seventy nine, seven, eight, five, 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 so basically we let it go just over the hump and build up a little bit of speed before we uh, before we set the powers which on a 475 descent to 9000 situation Melbourne 1013 you'll then at destination increasing as we bring the powers back back towards our 31 inches 2200 rpm which is pretty well a worldwide standard cruise power for a chieftain and so far we haven't even leaned the mixtures yet. Look at the fuel. 
increasing. And then once we land the mixtures, find that we've got a couple of hundred litres, about an hour and a half fuel remaining at the destination.